you can imagine there is no uh, human being sitting in the lander who can control the uh, descent velocity or uh, horizontal velocity. At uh, 30 km altitude, the lander was traveling at uh, 1.6 km per second. Finally, we have to come to zero meters per second. We did uh, one of the very important uh, sensor development, which is called uh, laser Doppler uh, velocimeter. We have gone through a lot of simulations under various conditions, under various uh, problems, or uh, where you don't know what can happen. So I'm being joined by uh, director of ISTRAC, uh, which has played a crucial uh, role in landing of uh, the soft landing of uh, the uh, Vikram lander. Sir, uh, can you just elaborate that how it has happened? Because we saw that 15 to 20 minutes, that was uh, definitely, it was uh, uh, difficult for everyone. Yes, that is the most crucial phase of the Vikram uh, landing. Of course, right from launch, Till that phase, we have gone through many such uh, phases where we have uh, the worries and uh, things have to work properly. Mm. So this last phase is the most difficult phase mm. because you can imagine there is no uh, human being mm. sitting in the lander right. who can control the uh, descent velocity or uh, horizontal velocity. Mm. So everything I have to program in a computer and I have to make sensors mm. to measure all the velocities mm. in the horizontal direction, vertical direction, mm. and continuously give this data to the navigation and guidance control. Mm. That is the most, uh, this is the most difficult phase where we are using a big engine okay. to reduce the velocity okay. because at uh, 30 kilometer altitude, mm. the lander was traveling at uh, 1.6 kilometer per second. Finally, we have to come to zero meters per second. Okay. So that is the kind of break we have to apply on this uh, okay. lander mm -hmm. to get the velocity reduced. Mm -hmm. And once I reduce the horizontal velocity, I have to make sure on the moon when I land, I will not have any uh, uh, craters or boulders. Mm -hmm. So we have to ensure that all these things are taken care and this intelligence was built in our lander where the sensors could check where it has to land, where the land is very good, where there is no boulder or crater. So this, all these things is a very, very complex algorithm which has been put on the lander. So, so what is the next course of action after its, uh, after its landing? Sir? So now we have landed at uh, 6 p.m. Mm. So now future we are waiting for the dust because the engines which have been firing to bring down the velocity, mm. uh, engines have uh, uh, shut down now mm. and uh, the dust whatever has risen mm. from the engine, okay. it has to settle down, it takes about two hours. Mm. During this time, whatever the cameras which have taken the photos uh, on from the uh, lander mm. is getting downloaded now and we are going to process and uh, make that as a uh, uh, photographs for future okay. and after that our uh, lander ramp is going to deploy and then rover will start rolling down and this will happen around four hours from six o'clock. Sir, so, what is about the 14 days of uh, time? Yeah, 14 days is what uh, the moon will have sunlight. Another 14 days, moon is in uh, night. So we luna, one lunar day is 14 days. One lunar night is 14 night, uh, days, earth days. Okay. So because of that, the, when there is no light, uh, there is the solar panels which are powering the subsystems will have to uh, provide the the power required for the subsystems. But when solar is not energy is not there it has to work on battery the battery has cannot sustain for 14 days okay. so we have to wait for another 14 days to bring it back to active sir my last question is if you compare it with the second uh, chandrayaan chandrayaan 2 what are the what changes you did and what are the equipments you in fact put or install into this uh, chandrayaan 3 that actually landed it safely this time yes uh, we did uh, one of the very important uh, sensor development mm. which is called uh, laser doppler uh, velocimeter okay. 
This is an instrument which is uh, technologically, as our chairman also told, is a very technologically challenging instrument. This we could develop in Chandrayanti three time frame. And another important thing, we have gone through a lot of simulations. We have done uh, quite a number of simulations under various conditions, under various uh, uh, problems or uh, where you don't know what can happen. Mm. Suppose one engine fails, what mm. will happen? Two engine fails, what will happen? Right. All the conditions we tested, tested, and finally when we got the confidence, we have gone Sir, last this. one last, last question. What was the reason of that second uh, Chandrayaan failure? Uh, I'm, as, your... uh, as it is published in the media, there was uh, uh, some uh, high rate requirement which we could not meet. And uh, uh, one uh, uh, sensor did not uh, give the correct update. So because of that, we had a problem. Such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The New Indian, by clicking on the bell icon. Also, follow us on the social media handles on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Google.